Hey guys, welcome to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the five ugly things about affiliate marketing. And I personally hate these things about the industry and I wanted to kind of give you guys some warning signs. Now it's not all bad. Obviously there's good things in the industry. You can make a lot of money, but there's things that suck. And I kind of want to address it because I feel like a lot of times it's overlooked. Nobody talks about it, but let's get straight into it. So for reason number five, it's inconsistency. Now, I really hate it. It's super stressful. One month, you will make 100K profit, 200K profit, 50K profit. The next month, you'll make zero. You'll lose money. And the next month, you'll also lose money. And that's very annoying to some people. It's especially very annoying to me. I like stability. I like a person that just kind of, you know, it's slow growth, but it goes up while affiliate marketing is just kind of. So that's the negative thing to affiliate marketing. And I kind of do want to warn you guys that this business is not for the faint of heart. It's it's tough, it's stressful, and yeah, that's one of the things. So now down to number four, it's always waiting or looking for the next big thing. And that kind of goes hand in hand with inconsistency is that once you run an offer, you run it up and then the offer dies down. It's very common. So usually offers perform for like three months up to six months. And then you're kind of in this dry season of trying to figure out another offer to work, trying to make another thing profitable. And it kind of goes through this ups and downs and chasing the next big thing is hard. It's exhausting. You gotta hit up people. You got to hit up affiliate managers to find that next big thing. And sometimes you have to spend thousands of dollars testing. And that is one of the things that I really hate about this industry. Now, number three is your be held to the advertiser. So pretty much whoever owns the offer is they're called the advertiser. You call the publisher and being a publisher. A lot of times the advertiser is like, Hey, I don't like your traffic. Stop running. Hey, I didn't approve this. I'm not going to pay for this traffic. And a lot of times you're kind of the smaller fish and the advertiser kind of dictates what you want. And that really sucks. You know, I just had a issue of an advertiser not wanting to pay me 150 grand and it sucks. It's stressful. You have to figure it out, but you know, hopefully you do. And these kind of situations are rough, but you know, in the end you got to work hard, you got to consistent and you got to be good at negotiating. But that is a really big reason why I hate this industry. Now, reason number two, and this is probably like the biggest one for me personally is not being able to sell your company or exit now, because this company is so dependent on you and even if you have employees, media buyers, it's still very dependent on how well you do, how you're good at cracking offers. And what that means is your company kind of goes up and down, up and down, and it's hard to put a valuation on the company. If you're having an e-commerce brand, right, it kind of goes up it's slowly, you're building natural, you're building the company. And then, you know, after five years, you could sell the company for $10 million. You don't really have that here, especially as a publisher. Sure, you could kind of move into other aspects of the industry is making your own offers, you know, becoming a network. But as a publisher, that's one of the things I don't like. It's similar to drop shipping in this where you kind of it's one hit wonder, you make money, you move on to the next. While in other industries like building a brand, you have brand equity, you could sell that for something you have logistics, things are more stable. And so that is one of the things and especially, you know, I'm 24, I'm trying to build something big, you know, not kind of go through this rolling. And that's something that really annoys me about this industry. And number one is your network is your net worth. And I know you're sitting behind the computer and you're thinking that you make all the money on the computer. But in reality, everything is about your network, who you know, the advertisers, the affiliate managers. If you're well known, people like you in the business, you're known to push good amount of traffic. People will come flocking to you for traffic. Advertisers will show you the best offers. Networks will pitch you the best things. And that's the sweet spot. But if you're a nobody, if you don't know people, it is really hard to find good things that work. Obviously, networking comes with time. And so if you're trying to improve your network, I highly recommend you going to affiliate conference conferences, affiliate events, you know, the big ones here in the States are affiliate summit East affiliate summit West leads con and there's different events, but I really recommend you guys network, go out there, talk to your affiliate manager, meet up, have them connect you with other people, talk to your affiliate manager, like, Hey, do you know other media buyers that you can connect me with and just get to know people in the industry in order to pretty much grow your network. And then you will see money follows network. And that's almost true in every industry, but especially in this industry. So just kind of review it, right? Inconsistency, always chasing the next big thing you're beheld to the advertiser, you're kind of under their control. You're not building any value, long-term value in the company. You don't have an exit strategy. And the last one is you got to know how to network. And I know this kind of attracts a lot of people that, you know, sit on the computer, you don't like to go outside, but you do have to network because that's where the money is made. Thanks for watching another video. If you want to hear about the good things, I'll probably make a video about the good things, but these are the ugly things for now. And join the discord if you're into affiliate marketing, want to learn more and that's it. Peace.